slides. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's session of Advertising Appeals and Ad Communication. In this session, we are going to cover the various advertising appeals that are used while making an ad, like fear and humor appeal, music and sex appeal, masculine and feminine appeal, and scarcity appeal, the adventure and bandwagon appeal, testimonials and slice of life, and snob and weasel words. We will also see the various kinds of advertising communications in terms of the models that exist in advertising like information processing model which is the IPM, the IDA model AIDA, the Dagmar model and we'll also discuss the push and pull strategy which is made use of in advertising. So let us begin with advertising appeals. Ads communicate through appeals. There are various ways of reaching the hearts and minds of the audiences amongst a plethora of information that is all across our environment and it makes us, it very difficult for the audiences to select and recall and take action on certain kinds of persuasive communication as opposed to the others. Appeals work at a very subconscious level. This is because what strikes a balance with you or what is the kind of message that you identify with as a viewer of, an, of a TVC or as an audience may not be the same as somebody else would identify with. So appeals work at subconscious levels. They are distinctive claims by the advertiser to emphasize the product features and attract customer attention. Now, when I say that they are the distinctive claims, it is the advertiser who is trying to impress upon the audiences the various product features and how these features can benefit the customer and how to, you know, retain the attention of the customer in a manner that uh, these appeals can bear their fruitful effect. Now, these can be both emotional as well as rational. When I talk about emotional appeals, the emotional appeals could be things like fear, things like uh, emotional advertisements where you try to uh, bring in familial bond and try to make the uh, appeal to the consumer to buy a product or service in order to fulfill that kind of a demand. Then it can also be rational in nature. By rational I mean those kind of appeals which will impress upon you logically the idea of buying a product or a service as opposed to just a, you know an emotional recollection. Say for example when I say rational appeal it could be insurance policy that you would like to buy at a younger age as compared to getting older because the premiums that you have to pay are less and are not so much of a financial burden and you look at some long term gain um, in various circumstances. Rajesh ji slides. So these are the various kinds of advertising appeals that we are talking about which can be emotional as well as rational. Now let us look at fear and humor appeal. Fear appeal is the appeal which uses moderate levels of fear to position the product. Like say for example insurance or cosmetics, when I say insurance on one hand we will call it rational because it is a logical decision to make to go for some kind of financial investment or to go for some kind of uh, insurance policy so that we have some cover of benefit in case of exigencies, in case that something goes wrong in life or in certain special circumstances. Uh, at the same time, I would say that insurance can also be used as a fear appeal because you would have usually seen advertisements where they talk about what would happen in case you meet a car crash or you, you, know, you are dead and who will look after your family. So that is a kind of creation of fear in the uh, mind of a person who is the breadwinner of the family as to in case something goes wrong, who will look after the family. So that is called a fear appeal. Then you also have, have cosmetics and depending upon the target audience you create the fear appeal. On one hand while you can impress upon the breadwinner of the family 
that insurance is important or health cover is important or policies are important, financial investment is important. On the other hand, when it comes to teenagers or college going girls, you can scare them off with a pimple. So ideally, cosmetics are also sold on the basis of fear appeals or say for example, when you make wrong use of cosmetics, how they can have a, an irreparable damage on your skin and how you know the face can be deformed, those kind of things. So that is called a fear appeal. Now I will show you an example of fear appeal later. Uh, when we talk about humor appeal, humor means high ad recall value. You, we usually, whenever we talk with our friends and family, we, uh, it is often that we find that person interesting who cracks more jokes. So ideally the uh, ad recall value is higher when they make use of humor appeal. When I say ad recall value, when you expose an audience to an advertisement, which is a persuasive piece of communication, later on, out of so much of information that exists, does he or she remember this advertisement, this piece of communication, which you have aimed at him or her for selling a certain uh, product or a service? This is called ad recall. So when it comes to making a purchase decision, say for example, I have to buy a health drink, will I remember Pediasure or will I remember Horlicks? Will I remember Bone Vita? Will I remember something else? This is the ad recall value. And it goes a long way in creating brand loyalty, in creating, you know, the purchase decisions, so on and so forth. So humor is highly valued when used in advertising. Also, it catches audience attention quickly as, um, you know, compared to passive information, passive uh, uh, communication that you're making to the audiences and persuading them to take action, trying to influence their minds. When you talk of humor, it automatically catches attention and it stays with you for a longer time. Now, I will uh, show you an example of the Happy Dent ad, which is, you know, to show how humor appeal is used in advertising. This
We will now take a one minute break and we will join back on Facebook Live very shortly. Just a minute's break. <laughs> 